Mount Etna in Sicily has erupted again, sending a cloud of toxic smoke and volcanic ash several kilometers into the sky. Officials said tremors were felt in nearby Sicilian towns and villages, According to the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, when part of its southeastern crater collapsed, releasing a torrential flow of hot lava. The risk zone is limited to the summit of Mount Etna, which is closed to tourists as a precaution. Sicilian President Renato Schifani stated that the lava flow emitted during the eruption did not penetrate the volcano's natural containment zone. Meanwhile, a giant caldera west of Naples is part of a volcanic arc stretching through Campania. Campi Flegre is often dubbed a supervolcano, according to the United States Geological Survey a volcano capable of producing an eruption of magnitude 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index and releasing 240 cubic miles of material. The Campi Flegre supervolcano, located west of Naples, has a layer of tuff about 3 kilometers below the surface that traps volcanic gases deep beneath the caldera floor. A weak crustal layer deep beneath the floor of the Campi Flegre caldera in Italy causes the caldera to experience periods of earth-shaking upheaval. According to recent research, it is made of a rock called Tuff, which has been weakened by numerous magma intrusions over tens of thousands of years. This tuff, a lightweight rock made of compressed volcanic ash, acts like a sponge for volcanic gases rising from the magma chamber at least 12 kilometers below the surface. When these gases begin to fill the pores of the tuff, they cause the rock to deform and even rupture, triggering earthquakes. Study leader Lucia Papalardo, a senior researcher at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, said this finding could explain the source of the periodic periods of upheaval at Campi Flegre. This research is part of a larger project to predict better eruptions at Campi Flegre, also known as the Flegrean Fields. According to the Italian Civil Protection Department, 500,000 people live in the area that would be inundated by boiling pyroclastic flows of hot ash and gas if the caldera erupts. However, the caldera has experienced periods of significant upheaval. During these periods, the area frequently shook with small earthquakes, which caused the collapse of walls at the historic site of Pompeii. Papardo and his team wanted to understand how the structure and strength of the rocks beneath the caldera contribute to volcanic activity. They used rocks drilled decades ago from within the caldera and performed scientific analyses. They characterized the minerals and elements in the samples, and also performed a process called 4D computed X-ray microtomography, which allows them to observe the structure of the rock samples as they are compressed to the point of fracture. This process provides information about the strength and mechanics of the rock. When the researchers performed this test on samples from different rock layers, they discovered a weak tough layer. This was unexpected. Using computer modeling, they found that this layer likely trapped numerous magma intrusions or dikes over thousands of years. These intrusions heated and deformed the rock. The researchers are now working to understand how material from the caldera's deep magma chamber could rise to the surface, triggering an eruption. 
However, although the caldera frequently vibrates, there is no indication that a major eruption is imminent. Currently, our monitoring systems are not recording any parameters that could indicate magma movement, so an eruption is unlikely in the near future, Papalardo said.